As in previous exercises, I've got AutoCAD open without any current drawings open. Now the reason I've done this is we're going to open up a new drawing from the DWT, the AutoCAD drawing template that we created earlier. Now, I'm going to go up to the new icon here on the quick access toolbar, and I'm going to click on new. Now what you'll find is when I open up a new drawing when I click on new, you will get the select template dialog box. And this gives you the opportunity to work with any template. Now if you're new to AutoCAD, again, this could be confusing because you don't know really what to do with the DWT, but more importantly, you don't know which DWT to use. Now we know that we've created this one here, the A3 ISO drawing template. And as you can see, that is sitting in the default template folder. What I'm going to do here, though, is quickly show you how to set up the startup variable so that you get the startup dialog box. We have covered this previously in this course, but it's good practice to remember to do this. So we're going to use the ACAD ISO.DWT there, the metric template. Click on Open. That opens up a blank metric drawing. Now what I'm going to do here now, using the dynamic input, I'm going to type startup, like so, and press enter. And the value for startup at the moment is zero, which means that the startup dialog is actually off. I'm going to type in one and press enter to switch on the startup dialog. So now what I can do is when I close this drawing here, click on close here, and it will close that drawing for me. Now when I click on new here, I will get the startup dialog box. It's worth having that startup dialog box. It's visual. And as I've said previously, a picture paints a thousand words. The other reason I've got you to use the startup dialog box is you've got the use a template option here. If I click on use a template now, what I can do is if I scroll up my list here, there is my A3 ISO drawing template that I created previously. And you'll notice when I select it, there's my template description. Metric A3 ISO landscape template. So, I click on OK, and it opens up a blank drawing as such, but with all the settings from my template that I've created. If I just pan that upward slightly, look, I've got my viewports. I've also got my title block. I've also, you'll notice, got everything else that I need. I've got my layers here. All my layers are set up and ready to go. So if you have 600 drawings to draw, all with the same title block, all with the same layer settings, all with the same text, create a template first. That way, I've now got a new DWG file you'll notice here, ready to go, ready to draw on. Now, you'll notice what I've deliberately done throughout this particular course is my building line is still there in the model space. I've deliberately included that in this particular template so that we have a point of reference. Normally, you would not include any model data in a template. So in the model here, you'll notice I've got that particular boundary for that building line. Don't worry about that. That shouldn't really be there. I'll go back to the A3 landscape. And as you can see there, we have got a title block ready to go. The one thing we need to do now is we need to save our drawing. So we go up to the application menu here, click on the down arrow, and we go save as AutoCAD drawing. And what that will do now is it will take me to the previous folder that I was working in, which is my drawings folder in this case. And what I'm going to do here now is give my file a name. Notice my default setting is saving to an AutoCAD 2007 DWG to allow older versions of AutoCAD to read my file. So this will be 10 to be consistent with the file naming convention there. And it will be a finished A3 ISO drawing example. What I'm going to do there now is hit save. And you'll see that name change up here. Now you'll notice it's a very long file name on the title bar at the top. If you just do a quick save here, now that you've already created that file, you'll see that it basically tidies up the title bar. It only shows the file name rather than the file path. So as you can see there, I've created a DWG from a DWT and then saved that DWG as a different file 
in a folder.